and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide today. I'm gonna do something a little new that I haven't done in quite a while, or I actually haven't done really at all, but I think it's a cool thing to start doing. I hadn't done it before, because I didn't think anything had the magnitude yet to actually go about doing this. But I probably could have done this with like the Mutt Heroes and that kind of those kind of promos, but I'm gonna start doing this as of now. I think it's a very interesting concept. Going over like a Mutt review of a promo. So obviously I did the October preview. I did the November preview, and I'm gonna do the October review. I'm gonna be going over everything that I think it was worth it. That I think it was a scam. That I think that that it was a worthwhile promo to rate it out of 10. Now, was the October promo fun? Was did it live up to standards? Now, obviously it's not just most feared. It's mo it's mo heroes and most feared in one. So I gotta obviously go over both of them. You can't just do one of them because it is the uh, review for October as a whole. Now, most feared did just end about three days ago. So pretty much everything is wrapped up. Our bats have converted to training. Everything that we needed to do has been done for the most part. So let's start off with the Mud Heroes promo. Give it a little rating, and that's gonna combine with the most feared. Now, Mud Heroes as a whole, solo challenges, eh, wasn't a fan of them. But there was a reward, so I'm gonna go, eh. So, like, I'm thinking we got two free players, but most of the cards sucked. It gave us Saquon. I'll give Mud Heroes a 6 out of 10. I'm gonna be short and sweet with Mud Heroes, so there wasn't much to it. If they had not given us two free players, would not have been that great. Mud Heroes as a whole gets a 6 out of 10. I believe that one was okay. Saquon Ramsey was great. The Castro was pretty good. Now, guys, before we get into the rest of this video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, come join the family, boys. We've been growing pretty fast. Thank you guys so much for all the support. Comment down below what you guys have. What are your What's your rating for October? What is your overall rating that you guys believe is a fair rating for the month of October or most of your Mud Heroes separately? Obviously, I'm going to keep Mud Heroes short. And if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, boys. All the OGs, all the supporters. Always make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Helps out the channel tremendously, guys. Now, back to what I was saying. So, that pretty much wraps up Mud Heroes. I'm not going to spend too much time. I know you guys want to talk about Mud Heroes, but I personally thought it was okay. Without the free players, it would have been a flop. The souls were kind of boring. The house rules was okay. The players kind of sucked. None of people really liked it. The packs were okay. Now, going on to most feared, right? So, when you look at mo when, you when a promo comes out, you always want to look at the sets, right? So, how were the most feared sets? Did I like the crafting material sets? Not really. I was not a fan of this year's crafting material sets. Too many. You just needed too many of them. Was I a fan of the scary fast sets? Too many. I, I honestly didn't look at any of these. In my opinion, like I wasn't a fan of any of these. Like, obviously, you can get 95 crafting materials. That took a while. That was expensive, or you, it took a while to get. You had to open out a pack. So, what what sets are the average everyday Madden guy look for? And it was the master sets. These are the sets that everyone was staring at. These were okay. I'm not gonna lie. I just thought they were a little too rare to get, obviously, but if you guys got them or you ended up buying them, whatever you ended up doing with them. Now, I didn't know you could actually buy these. Someone claimed that you can't have bought these. You could have bought these pieces online. Yeah, so I didn't know that at first. But since you can, of course, buy them, I guess that did make up for it a little bit, but they were a little rare. These were okay, but now the three, the two master sets, I'm going to start, I'm going to go start with these. The Ray Lewis set. What was, was it, what did it live up to, did it live up to something? Ray Lewis, awesome master. I'll give him that. I like the Ray Lewis master. They get a 10 out of 10 for Ray Lewis. Earl Thomas set piece, not a fan of. Cam Newton, Lockett. I think I, th I think all of them kind of asked. Ty Lockett was good, but not the brand name you really want for, for scary fast, right? Like, we've had some pretty crazy players in years past, some pretty crazy stats, and none of these guys had crazy stats. None of them were like, wow, like, I need them. Only the master. And then, the second master, Peyton Manning, was ass. They made him worse than most quarterbacks. And you guys say, I'm always talking about Xerxes, right? You see him, see him invite him to the party? Mid thing, he wants to play some Call of Duty right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the brains of this operation. He needs me. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So, back to Peyton Manning. He was asked. He was no better than any other pocket passer quarterback in the game. Minus mobility. Now, his set pieces were amazing. I think Sue, Ward, and Frederick were amazing. So, that saved the, mo the master set. So, pretty much, the set pieces for the Peyton Manning were amazing. But the master sucked. And then the master for Ray Lewis was amazing. But the set pieces sucked. So, they kind of alternated there. I wish they could have just hit it on all cylinders. But it is what it is. Now, coming to the solo challenges they were decent i think the solo challenges were kind of a waste i mean right they didn't really guarantee us much yeah we got we got pieces and stuff we, that was okay but there was no banger you know what i'm saying like when, when we look at these solo challenges we always want like that free thing i understand it might be asking too much where are the are they gone 
Did they get rid of every solo challenge? All right. Well, the point is, when in milestones, and you looked at the when you looked at it, you could look and you could clearly see that there was nothing really free to get from there. It was some bats, some pieces, but there was no like free 90 overall car. There was no. There was obviously that free 88 or whatever that was, but there was no free like set master but you know what they did give us two from house rules so that kind of makes up for it but it doesn't at the same time you guys might say that right but the house rules was ridiculous to get two free players it was 175 wins you guys know what 175 wins is that is more wins than most people get in a series and one of the house rules was like long the second one wasn't as long but for just two of them you know what i'm saying like i i like how i think a good promo should have one house rules player and one solo challenge because the solo challenge is on your own time anyone can do it no competitiveness, just chilling, watching some Netflix. But when you play the house, you gotta kind of try a little bit when you verse people. So that kind of does stunt what you can actually do with that. So for me so far, the sets are like a seven out of ten, six out of ten, six out of ten. I'm gonna go with the sets were six out of ten. If Peyton was better, and there was two math, and they didn't even do a scary fast master. They did a scary strong, a scary sharp, no scary fast. They, they just forget the rest of the promo. They can say what they want. They can call Dante Hall the master. I don't care. A limited time, of course, right? How convenient. They make the scary fast master, the most one that we wanted, the most coveted one that we wanted, they make him limited time, right? That, that's what that's what people are saying. Like, oh no, Dante Hall, I don't care if Dante Hall is a limited time master. He is in a limited time. Not nobody can afford that. Even me with my team and my coins, like even I won't I'm not dumb enough to buy that. How about the average user who doesn't play enough? Like I just I can't agree with that. If that is what they think was the scary fast master, that is just dumb and ridiculous. But they skipped on that. So then, on top of all that, no one participated really online. The enraged players sucked. All I had, all I saw all day on Twitter was people saying the enraged players can't make catches. And eight eight foot tall, right? Eight foot tall, Le'Veon Bell getting hit stick. Like enraged should play like enraged. I know it's stupid. I know for those two days, the gameplay should be stupid. Those two days, it should be like trucking, jumping, stiff army to the ground. It should be some crazy stuff. That's what enraged cards were. No one wanted their enraged cards. I've actually never had a Halloween where people were like, "Give me my ninety threes back." Like me, literally, I wanted my cards back. Give me them back to normal. I don't want them in rage anymore. So the gameplay aspect sucked for Halloween. The sets were okay. I mean, I love Ray Lewis and all. That's fine. He was okay. The solos were kind of ass. The house rules were okay. I think the promo gets, again, a 6 out of 10. I mean, I can't see it being any better. And you know what sucks about that? Every year, we're excited for three things. In this order, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Halloween usually is a banger. Like, everyone, Halloween kicks off. and Wow, Madden is cool. Madden is dope right now. I love it. And it, it, just, it just wasn't it this year. It really just was not it this year. Guys, I swear, if they, if they botch, if they botch Thanksgiving, I'll be super upset. We need cornucopia packs. We need Barry Sanders. We need Deion Sanders for the Blitz. We need Lawrence Taylor. We need all that. I'm praying that is what we see. Although we might not see a Dion because we just got one, but it is still wishful thinking that we will get a cool Blitz deal like we did last year. But it was kind of upsetting. The promo as a whole was upsetting. Let me know down below what you guys rated. So I think for the whole month of, I know I gave two six out of tens, but so, I mean, theoretically math standards, I have to give it a six out of 10 for the month. I think that's what it's going to be. The month of October was six out of 10. Although as a content creator, I'll give the month of October a seven out of 10 because I did have a lot of fun this month. There was a lot of good videos to make a lot of fun times on YouTube to have. So for me personally, I didn't really mind the month, but as a Madden player, I could see where you guys are coming from. It's six out of 10 and it was very a lot of money spent a lot of a lot of packs were given out a lot of bad pulls a lot of bad pack luck i, I understand the whole month but as a whole six out of ten out to predict next month i think thanksgiving has to be a seven at least minimum right i mean in my opinion minimum if you give us a free house rules player and a free solo player and we have some cool and, and as long as you have a cornucopia pack and a cool master it'll be eight out of ten literally if you give us a great master some nap players and a fun time with some fun card art and stuff. Eight out of 10 minimum. That's all you have to do. Halloween somehow botched that. I don't know how. There is a line that we follow every year. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? But instead they didn't even fix it. They took parts off. Like every year it's the same thing with Halloween. We get like three master sets, a or, or even one master set, but we get a bunch of set pieces. We got little set pieces. You know, we got, we got like six usable. We got out of that literally like two usable cards. Denzel Ward and Frederick. Those were like the only ones people actually really wanted. And then Ray Lewis. We got three out of out of the six. We got like three we can use. Out of the you know eight out of the eight, we got three we can use. So in my opinion, that was kind of what was wrong. Is that literally same thing every year. Good pieces, great masters, great everything. Good solos, good environment. That's it. That's all you need. It's very simple. Thanksgiving. If you give us a cornucopia pack, a Lawrence Taylor or a Barry Sanders, with some Thanksgiving Turkey Day solos, and some performers on Thanksgiving to see how they play. 
Done. Nine out of ten. I'll give it right there. Thanksgiving. It's so simple. I, it's, it's that simple, guys. But that's about it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this October review was insightful. I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below your rating. If you guys show a ton of support, I'll be doing these every month on every promo. Maybe I'll do promo reviews and then overall monthly reviews. But let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell. And by the way, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.